Namaskaram Rasikas. I have often been asked by young singers or singers who want to learn singing or even intermediate level people who are already into music. They always tell me, Amma, please tell us one 15 minute capsule of what we should do every day so that we can keep everything properly running and con in condition so that when we start singing, we can do a good job of it. And really, I would like to give you that 15 minute capsule, which would be universal, which would be like a quick fix for everybody to follow and things would be all right. But that's not going to be possible because each one of us has different needs. Each one of us has different weaknesses and different strengths. So there are some things that we would have to figure out by ourselves. But yes, there are some other things that all of us can do as a basic kind of preparation. So we can talk about that uh, today. For the beginning, as I told you in one of the earlier uh, sessions that we shared, that sound, musical sound in the human body is when the exhaled air is coming out and passes through the vocal cords. So by that token, the amount of air that you can hold in your body and the steadiness with which you can bring out that air will really determine a good sound from your voice. So friends, all of us must practice deep breathing. Next question would be, what does deep breathing practice mean? How does one do it? It's the simplest type of pranayama. So you hold one nostril with a thumb, the other nostril with your ring finger and you open out one, inhale through one, close this, open out the other, exhale through the other. Then you repeat the same thing in the reverse. That finishes one unit of deep breathing. Like that you can do six for starters, then 12, then 24, like that. We can do as many as, and to learn this is not difficult. Your neighborhood yoga teacher can teach you this. This is a very simple exercise. This will help you to start holding and letting out your breath with more ease, more steadiness without adjunct adjunct noises that come out of that breathing you know all those things will start getting sort of handled well if you start doing the pranayama once you do pranayama the next thing you can do is hum just whatever song you are in the mood for on that particular day or tune just instead of singing it hum it and when you hum it hum it in different ways for example, first when you start humming, you might be loud. You might hum something like But if you practice more and more, then you will start learning to hum softly. Like like that you know only you should be able to hear your own hum that should be the test just test if somebody in the next room is hearing you if they can then you have to go softer you know so that kind of practice if you do and then slowly do soft then loud then medium level volume come back again to soft that will sort of activate a lot of nerves and muscles in your tract here and it will slowly massage and caress all your nerves here and get them into action and get them to start singing for you and vibrating for you. So humming is a very good exercise for all singers. After this, we come to the regular traditional Carnatic music exercises, which all of you would be knowing, but still I would like to share with you for those who are probably coming across this for the first time. So we have a lot of scales and exercises like in every other system of music, which we call as varishais in Tamil. So the first is the Sarali Varishai, the simplest of them all. Sari gama pada ni sa sa ni da pa ma gari sa Increase the speed. Sari gama pada ni sa sa ni da pa ma gari sa 
नेक्स्ट स्पीड सारी गा मा पा दा नी सा सा नी द प म ग री सा सारी गा मा पा दा नी सा सा नी द प म ग री सा एंड देन सिंग द सेम थिंग आल्सो नॉट ओनली इन स्वरास बट इन अ कारा एंड सो ऑन सो देयर इज अ होल सेट ऑफ एक्सरसाइजेस कॉल्ड सरली वर्षे देन देयर इज जंट वर्षे द सेकंड सेट ऑफ एक्सरसाइजेस व्हिच गो समथिंग लाइक दिस सा सा री री ग ग म म प प द द सी एवरी फर्स्ट स्वर कम्स स्ट्रेट एंड द सेकंड स्वर यू डिप अ लिटिल एंड कम बैक टू गिव इट अ काइंड ऑफ एन एक्सेंट सो दैट इज जंट वर्षे देयर आर मेनी एक्सरसाइजेस इवन इन दिस सीरीज व्हिच यू कैन डू इन स्वरास एज वेल एज इन अकारा then you have the male stai varshe for the upper octaves the ki stai varshe for the base octaves then you have the alankarams alankarams go something like this sa ri ga ma ga ri sa ri ga ri sa ri ga ma ri ga ma pa ma ga like that alankaras are very very important and this we can do every day i'm just reminded of papa venkatramayya the great violinist in his peak when he was the most sought after violinist i have seen him every morning pick up his violin put it to his shoulder and start playing the sarali varshe and alankaras so the power of repeating something every day can never be over emphasized so the thing is just get in there and do it again and again however difficult it is to start so continuing with the alankaras you sing then in three speeds sa ri ga ma ga ri sa ri ga ri sa ri ga ma ri ga ma pa ma ga ri ga ma ga ri ga ma pa ga ma pa da pa ma then in akaras a a so you see you saw me when i was singing i was sort of rolling the notes one on top of the other my master shrimati te brinda always used to tell me they should roll like how marbles roll one over the other when you just drop them they shouldn't fall like flakes of avil which just fall like that so you don't sing ah that is not even avil it's just plain like you know something is being spread out here and there whereas when marbles roll over each other you get something like ah 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 so you start learning to apply gamakas gamakas means oscillations and these oscillations are going to become a very important ingredient for you when you actually start singing more difficult pieces and what are oscillations they are the specific ornamentations or movements when a particular note you never hit it straight on its head but you when you hit it it goes a little to the other side to the next note and then to the next note this side and then goes over and then finally comes and lands on its head not on its head na huh? on its feet straight so that is how a gamaka works it just moves here and there and then lands correctly so these oscillations are very specific to each system of music like in carnatic it's one kind of oscillation in hindustani it's yet another kind of oscillation but no matter what gamaka or oscillation is a very important part of indian music not only classical any other music of india so it's good to practice all these little exercises which will prepare us for those later complex things that will come and usually when i practice it takes me like to get through the breathing the get the humming and then the alankaras and all the other things in about an hour so if you can please do give yourself an hour to do this but for those who are doing other things and don't have that time even a 15 minute shorter version of all these three things would still do in fact i would say rather than do one hour on one day of the week and then do nothing for the remaining days of the week it's better to do 15 minutes but do it every day that will really give you lot of very good results 
so happy to share all my thoughts and experiences with you. I look forward to seeing you again until next time.